Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's post-launch news conference. It's always a great day in Florida when we have one of these, and today we have a bunch of happy people here after the successful launch of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying NASA's uh, radiation belt storm probes into space. And we're going to uh, begin with some opening comments, and then we'll be happy to take questions. I'd like to introduce to my left Rick Fitzgerald, RBSP Project Manager from Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. Mike Luther, Deputy Associate Administrator for the Science Mission Directorate at NASA Headquarters in Washington. And Nikki Fox, RBSP Deputy Project Scientist for Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. Thank you all for coming, and Rick, we'll begin with you. Okay, well, uh First of all, I'm very happy to report that we have two healthy spacecraft on orbit, and uh, many thanks to uh, ULA and Launch Services uh, Program for getting us on orbit, giving us a great ride, and injecting us in exactly the orbit that we wanted to be in. So uh, thank you very much to them, and uh, congratulations to the whole RBSP team uh, for a job well done, and uh, we're continuing with our checkout. and. Our 59 and a half days now of commissioning activities in front of us, uh, but we're very happy with the progress to date. And uh, uh, JPL had their seven minutes of terror recently, and I had my hour and 55 minutes of terror tonight. Uh, I had dark hair when we launched, so uh, <laughs> glad to say that we're on orbit now and everybody's happy. Thank you. Mike? Uh, yeah, what a beautiful launch uh, it was, uh, by the way, and for uh, some of us lucky enough to be outside, uh, I'll just note that uh, you could follow the, uh, the flight of the rocket from ignition all the way through uh, the first stage burnout uh, and the staging event, actually, uh, with the naked eye from outside. Uh, what you couldn't see uh, was a series of uh, rather intricate maneuvers that the, um, <coughs> the Centaur uh, second stage performed in order to get uh, the twin spacecraft in their appropriate orbits, which they accomplished quite well. Um, uh, so it was just a, a beautiful launch. Uh, on behalf of NASA and the Science Mission Directorate, uh, I'd like to uh, say thank you and, and congratulations to our partners, ULA, uh, uh, United Launch Alliance, and uh, Applied Physics Lab. Um, and uh, now that the spacecraft are safely uh, in orbit, uh, the real fun begins, and uh, we get to, uh, after the commissioning period that Rick mentioned, uh, we get to uh, then uh, began to perform the most detailed study of the Earth radiation belts that has ever been undertaken. Uh, uh, so we're just uh, as pleased as we can be and uh, really uh, want to say thanks to uh, the entire team uh, from uh, all our partners. Thanks, Nikki. Nikki? Okay, so um, today, uh, 11 years hard work uh, was realized by the science team as we stood, a uh, number of us stood together watching the rocket lift up the pad. And as Mike said, it was the most spectacular sight. Um, I thought I was going to be blown away by what I would see, and it didn't even, it, it just was way, way better than, than I, I could imagine. Uh, sonic boom just wiped out any cloud in the sky, and um, it was like it was welcoming the spacecraft up. Uh, they're now um, at home in the Van Allen belts, where they belong, um, and uh, I think we, we've all actually now finally breathed out, um, now that the four solar panels are out on, on both of them. So as Mike said, for the science team, uh, the real work now begins. Um, one big milestone was getting up there. The next big milestones are all of our scientific discoveries. Um, and we were delighted today that uh, Sarah Van Allen, the uh, the daughter of James Van Allen, joined us um, at the Applied Physics Lab in the uh, Mission Operations Center, um, where she was she was right there as we used our 18 meter dish to uh, to bring down that telemetry and tell us that everything was great. So we were delighted that she was able to join us and continue um, with her her father's proud tradition of studying the radiation belts. All right, thank you. We'll now take questions. Please state your name and your affiliation and to whom you're addressing your question. Marcia? Marcia Dunn, Associated Press for Dr. Fox. So uh, based on your comments, they have already penetrated the Van Allen belts by now. They would yeah, have already. They're, they're up in the inner belt, I believe. Is yep. that correct? Yep. Um, 
and for Mr. Fitzgerald, I can't help but notice your fine dress this this morning. Thank is you. this is this for good luck or is this your? Uh, this could is you explain? my this is my good luck tux. Uh, I wore this ten years ago for the Grace Mission launch, where I was the mission manager, and uh, that mission is ten years and still on orbit. Uh, so I'm I'm hoping for the same for RVSP. <laughs> James. James Dean Florida today. Uh, Dr. Fox, uh, how much frustration was there uh, in during the past? Uh, we've done seven minutes. Um, I don't know how many hours, uh, but seven days to, to get up in the air after a couple of scrubs uh, probably was a little frustrating. Um, it, it was. It was. I can't say it was my most happy moments of my life. But um, we waited 11 years, and uh, you know, driving off the base with all that spectacular lightning the other day, I was like, okay, they're not ready to go. So um, it, a few more days was worth it. To, to wait for this beautiful launch. But uh, it was frustrating, but that's the space business. We designed spacecraft to, uh, to be able to withstand space weather. Um, we didn't really think about tropical storms. We were more worried about those big geomagnetic storms. So um, it was frustrating, but I am so happy that they're up there now. And, and so 60 days of commissioning, does that mean it, takes, it will take that long for each instrument to have fully deployed, or is there, um, does that happen sooner? Uh, different instruments come at, at different times. Um, very shortly, actually later today, the magnetometer booms, um, which are these on the from the solar panels, um, will deploy, and those instruments will start taking data. Uh, the these whoops these are long. These actually are the 50 meter, so they're 100 meter tip to tip booms, and they deploy those very slowly because obviously it changes the spin rate of the spacecraft. So it takes more than two weeks to get all those out, and we're still doing puffs of thrust while we're doing that. So we don't bring up all of the particle instruments until all of that plasma cloud is completely clear. So that's why it takes so long. We've, we've waited a long time. We want to take care of our instruments when they're up there. So some will be on before others. Marcia? Yes, for Dr. Fox again. Um, Sarah Van Allen, is she a scientist? And she was in Laurel, Maryland, correct? She was, she in was Laurel, not Maryland. here. Yeah. She, was, she was here for the attempts um, in Florida uh, last week. Um, and this morning, we were delighted that she was able to join us uh, at, the, um, at the Mission Ops Center. I am not sure. Sorry. <laughs> um, here at Kennedy Space Center, we were proud to uh, host a NASA social for the RBSP launch. And we have some dedicated uh, parties who came here last week for the first launch attempt and they've stuck it out and uh, we're happy to invite them today to participate in the news conference and we have a question. Thank you. Good morning. Pedro Vasquez, Delicious Blur on Twitter. My question is for Dr. Fox. Uh, now, that the, now that the spacecraft are whether uh, going to be for the foreseeable future, have you, have you decided on a name uh, or will they always be known as spacecraft A and B? Um, that is that is still under discussion. Um, right now, they're still spacecraft A and B. Um, I, as you know, I've always called them Van and Allen because they're close to my heart. But but uh, they they will they are, they will remain spacecraft A and B until further notice, I guess. Thank you. Do we have any other questions? All right. Seeing none, we will uh, call it a day. Thank you all very much for coming. Have a good day. To keep track of. The RBSP mission, please go to NASA's website, www.nasa.gov slash RBSP. Thank you very much. Five. Release.